Hi everyone, it's Terry from Terry Scrapbooks and I have a junk journal to share with you today. I named it There's Something About an Old Fashioned Girl and this is an actual vintage sheet music piece I cut out and here's a chipboard frame and then this is a vintage photo of this girl. Looks like she has a graduation scroll in her hand, graduation photo. And these are um, Anna Griffin die cut pieces, Leela collection. I coffee dyed them, so I put them through a coffee bath before I used them. And here's some Meyer Road flowers, and I use some vintage buttons. These are velvet covered buttons. Um, I didn't think it looked so bad here when I'm looking at it in real life, this big black circle, but when I look at it in the pictures, it looks pretty bad, but it makes a great closure. And then I have an actual skeleton key here, and some seam binding that I dyed, and I used a little of the dye to color this these pieces here. I have a tapestry sort of upholstery fabric on the cover. And the cover is um, it's a loose spine so that you can open it right up, get right inside despite all its embellishment and you can actually reach the page to write on which I really like. And This is my leftover Valentine flower from my husband. Okay, we'll get inside. So the inside cover, this is a piece of fabric that I sewed on this vintage embossed print. It says birthday greetings and I sewed it onto the piece of fabric and tied it on here. Vintage lace. This is a um, piece from Peon Designs. I've got a lot of um, antique, vintage, and uh, scrapbooking leftovers in here. This is a printout I did. Sweet Memories Waltz for journaling. And this is uh, from K and Company, I believe. Place to journal. And these pieces here are from Prima uh, ledger paper pieces. And here's some more of Anna Griffin die cuts and some mulberry flowers that I highlighted with some paint, micro beads here in the center. This is a book engraving that I sewed on to a piece of Prima ledger paper. And here's a vintage 1936 postcard for war veterans. It's an invitation. There will be a meeting of Soldiers Home Saturday, August 15, 1936 at 2.30. This is a page from a book, Latin Flower Names. These are the C's. And this is a card, date, subject, occasion, comments place to write. This is a Prima Cigar Box Secrets cut out. Vintage laces, a key charm, and some trim and seam binding. I have a little vintage uh, rhinestone here tied on with some vintage lace. A place for writing laces. This is a assignment. Underline the gurned phrase in each sentence below. Coffee dyed paper with some stamping. Stamping. This is vintage ledger paper that I still sell in my shop. Washi tape. Here's a birthday greeting card, postcard with gold. Heavy gold foil got some paint chipping coming off here and it's a note March 11th 1911 just a piece of coffee dyed paper 
and instructions for making crepe paper raffia dolls on a <clears throat> hello paper clip and here's some printed pieces from my kit um, grandma's memorabilia oh and this is uh, recipes Phoebe's lemon pie and graph paper ledger paper cut with a piece of um, scrapbook ephemera on there a little punched heart with some stamping on a piece of green parchment paper lined notebook paper scrapbook paper parchment paper the other side of the instructions and here we have this is a printed ticket that I made up in Photoshop and I printed this from Photoshop just two little interesting pieces and this is a French 1940 handwritten love letter Ma Cherie and we have a French novel page and here's a gorgeous vintage photograph and this is a, a graphic 45 piece lady's diary I believe it says the delineator the delineator magazine cover Or, uh, this is Bo Bunny scrapbook paper. This is from the Ugly Girl Papers. Education and Manners. And a uh, round tag and laces. And this is a postcard. The Aragon Ballroom. 1943 with a note. And here's another printout from my grandma's memorabilia printouts in my Etsy shop. Book page. Graphic 45 paper, printed paper, placed journal. Here's a vintage button. And a vintage uh, apparel tag and some die cut tags and a brass charm and a a scrapbook thing it says remember when with lines and this is um, printed onto um, brochure paper so it has a bit of a shine this is an old photograph and this is scrapbook paper made into a tag and this is some of the London Illustrated News image I still sell those in my shop paper for writing, mulberry paper for writing, old ledger paper, Hartford Fire Insurance, a tag made out of scrapbooking paper, um, Elizabeth Barrett Browning book, um, 1800s, Aurora Lee poem, parchment paper, secretary's shorthand instruction book, This is a, 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 a organic plant paper. I think it, I don't know what it's made from. Um, a natural, either banana leaf or something like that. The other side is kind of rough, so I did a little pocket and I put in, this is scrapbook paper, die cut. This is vellum that says the most, the best and most beautiful things in the world cannot be seen or even touched. They must be felt with the heart. Helen Keller. This is a cutout from a greeting card. Stamping. Scrapbook paper. A little collage. Shorthand. Aurora Lee. little washi tape 
here's another postcard 1952 we acknowledge with thanks the receipt of your order from the malleable iron fittings company and this is a decoupage I did this is the delineator magazine um, image and I decoupaged it onto this piece of uh, scrapbook paper with um, matte gel paste and then of course you run a little sandpaper over the edges and see how it it um, peels back but leaves some of the type onto the scrapbook paper kind of neat looking place to journal and here's some collage of scrapbook papers and this is a little notebook made of leftover papers this actually this paper came from the old rolled up player piano pieces it usually has cut out so that the piano keys knew when to play but this is pieces of it that aren't embossed or cut on A little notebook with some mulberry papers that flowers that matched those flowers. This is a handkerchief on a piece of lace here and here's a little charm, butterfly charm. A prima postcard, a bingo card. This is a um, modeling paste from a stencil onto piano, I mean music sheet paper. Graphic 45 cut out. And here's a a, an album page from an old-fashioned um, scrapbook photo album and this I don't want to open it it's just a, got a piece of paper inside but it's a an envelope made from book pages and I tied on a little charm and this pulls out so that you can journal or put a photo inside the frame here And these are die cut tags from scrapbook paper. This is a piece of book page. And this is a glassine envelope and I have some pressed flowers in here from my garden. This is a, a mayflower from the woods. And here's a fern. They're delicate. So there's a New England Mayflower for you. And here is a scrapbook paper book uh, tag. And we have more Anna Griffin die cuts, vintage lace, stamping, coffee dyed paper. This is a vintage wallpaper sample. You can write on here. Very cool. Graphic 45 is another printout ticket that I had made up. And this is from the Girl Scout Handbook. I think it's first aid bandaging. Bandage your head, or you could tie a kerchief. <laughs> Bandage your hand. And folding a, a bandage from a piece of fabric. Or your bandana, probably your hiking bandana. Here's some Japanese dictionary paper. Note paper. This is a uh, has a quote on it. Coffee dyed paper from Demi Moore 1962. With children you don't have any reason not to trust them because they'll truly tell you like it is. You always know where you stand. Other side of the wallpaper. Here's a it's cool. It says photocopy right by all names, location, etc. It must be spelled exactly like story beside the name and address 
the pasted slip must contain every bit of information positively to identify the original years, hence. So I don't know what this is, but it's neat. This is a scrapbook paper journaling spot, and here's a Maja Design scrapbook paper journaling spot with a cutout die cut. A metal filigree with some die cut tags and lace, and here's a couple shoe buttons. This is vintage fabric here, sackcloth, Blue Fern Studios, Fussy Cutting, Prima Marketing Cigar Boss Secrets paper. Here's a collage of vintage papers and some stamping. More collage work. This is uh, cigar cigarette coupons. Raleigh cigarettes. And another one of those put together um, little notebook things, scrap papers, ledger paper. I'm still selling that. Um, die cut. This is a Prima ephemera piece inside this envelope. Is another illustrated London Illustrated news page. This one has the library stamp on it, October 1882. Belmont, Mass was the library. Belmont Public Library. Pretty. Can write all over the back. And this is scrapbook paper that coffee dyed. And that's it. That's the end of the journal. It will be for sale in my Etsy shop. And I have a bunch of ephemera, vintage ephemera and things to list, but boy, time just... I don't have enough of it. I have to do a mini album. It's my next big project. A baby boy mini album, custom ordered. I appreciate you all so much for all your support. I know I don't say it enough, but I am so, so grateful for you all. And thank you all so much for watching my videos.